lovely day. Okay, this ink light has been like all over the place for me. Um, let's go ahead. Let's open it and find out and I will story time as we go instead of taking like a 10 year, a 10 year time frame. I haven't watched any videos. I thought my ink light was going to be here on Friday because uh, a bunch of people around me got theirs on Friday and mine was still in New Jersey and I was like, the hell? And so I was like, maybe it'll show up on Saturday and it didn't show up on Saturday and I was like, oh, where is it? And it still showed in New Jersey. And then this morning I go to work and the box is sitting on like, we have like a table where you put mail. The box is sitting here. Like Rumi put it up there when we got home from, when he got home from um, his mom's house. Oh, well, there's all kinds of, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Hold on. Hold on. We have all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. I didn't, so I didn't watch anybody's videos because I was like, eek. Um, yeah. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I saw one of the goodies. Very exciting. Um, yeah. So I didn't watch anybody's videos. Um, I have no idea. Well, aside from the fact that I just pulled stuff out of the box, I have no idea what we have. And I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah. So I could have done ink light video yesterday. Except I didn't know it was here because... Mail doesn't usually get delivered on Sunday unless it's like Amazon. So, okay, let's see. Here's our sticker. It's a hippo in a bottle of ink. Cute. Sticker, cute sticker. One of the goodies, you probably already saw it, is this endless creative block tear off notepad, which is exciting because I was looking to get one of these maybe and try it. I haven't, this is like their new paper, I think. Does it say? Ink Loving Regalia Paper 80 GSM. That's exciting, because I was looking to get one of these. Um, and then we have... <laughs> Wearing Gull Ink Swatch Cards. Oh, fun, we'll have to try those. Okay, let's like, I don't wanna, let's look, wait, let's open the ink and see what our ink is this, this month. Let's look and see what our ink is this month. Let's see, we have Ferris Wheel Press! Woohoo! Is it all Ferris Wheel Press? It looks like it is. Which means I've probably swatched like most of these, if not all of these. We have Pumpkin Patch. Pumpkin Patch is actually a really great orange, and it's one that I wish I had a bottle of, but never got a bottle of. But then I ended up with a bottle of, um, um, as a gift, my favorite orange, Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. So I don't need another orange. Then we have Spruce County Post, which I have featured here and love. We have Peter Moss. I don't know if I've done a swatch on this, but it is an ink that I have had to swatch. We have, oh, the Velvet Ballet, which is one of their, it's their new holiday ink this year. Little Rubinia, which is probably my favorite Ferris Wheel Press ink ever. Stroke of Midnight, which you have seen before here. And then we have Edward Gardens, which is kind of a um, Emerald of Chivore uh, sort of variation. Excellent. Okay, so really, I think I've swatched all of these except for this one. Maybe this one, because I can't remember if I've swatched it. But I know that I've, I think this has already been on there too, even. I think I've swatched all of these at some point, but we're going to swatch them again, except for, you know, the, the, I definitely know that I haven't done this one. So I'm very excited about that. There is shimmer in it, so cool, cool, cool. Ferris Wheel Press. Ferris Wheel Press. I have like ups and downs with Ferris Wheel Press. I love their inks. I, I, I was very hyped up when they first started and did their very first Kickstarter with their first three inks. Um, and lately they've just been doing like nonstop shimmers and I'm like, okay, nonstop shimmer. We know how I feel about Roaring Katina Black, so we don't need to go into that. If you want to know, I'll do, I'll probably post a link up there. Um, yeah. Okay, now the question is, do I want to use these swatch cards? Do I want to use seven of these swatch cards for this ink? Or should we just try one? Maybe I'll save it. Maybe I'll try... Maybe we'll just open one and I'll use one just to see what it does. Because this is kind of cool. Okay, let's read about our goodies. Great ideas, okay, this is about the creative block. Great ideas can sometimes be fleeting. Capture them by scribbling on a handy pad like this. Creative block notepad by Endless. Quickly jot down notes to unblock any mental log jams. The 70 sheets of ADGSM regalia paper can handle saturated fountain pen inks and broad nibs. Tear away each sheet with ease after dumping all the contents of your brain onto the page. Place this pad on your work desk or carry it with you whatever inspiration hits. I would honestly probably use this here at my desk here 
uh, for when I work from home. Wearingle Smile Cat Ink Swatch Cards. Catalog your ink swatches with these grinning smile cat swatch cards. Each pack includes 50 sheets of 20, or 20, 200 GSM impression paper with an epoxy coating that will show the cat's smile when you brush over the surface with fountain pen ink. Have you ever seen a, have you asked, have you asked for, ever asked for a hippopotamus for Christmas? How about an ink, inktopotamus? <laughs> Illustrated by, I don't want to say his name wrong, their name wrong, or their Instagram name. They've done artwork before for the stickers, and their their um, Instagram is amazing. This hippo is taking a dip in spank. So yay, cool. Okay, let's read. Let's um. Hmm. I clean move some stuff, and so my little vial holder is not here. Um, okay. Anyway, we will put these in the order in which they say. Ferris will press velvet ballet merlot ink mixed with metallic sparkle. This color has a warm, glamorous appeal. Spruce County Post. Celebrate the finer things with this calming and spruce earth, earthy spruce green tree ink color. Love it. Love, love, love it. Ferris wheel pumpkin patch. This bold orange ink evokes autumn's splendor. Little Rubinia. The soft lilac ink shades with a blue undertone. Meow. Pearl in the background. I don't know if you can hear Released in fall 2021, this olive green ink has a hint of black sheen. Edward Gardens, a scintillating teal with a gold sparkling flakes and a myst mystical hint of red sheen. And then Stroke of Midnight, ring in the new year with this shimmering opalescent midnight blue ink. Excellent. Do I want to try this? Let's... Let's take one of the cards out. We'll try one of the cards because I'm intrigued. I want to see it. I want to see what it does. Look, can you see the... I don't know if it... Oh, yeah. You can see it. The reflection. <laughs> I like this little box. It's pretty cute. Okay. And because I plan on using this at some point maybe we'll just try it we'll see how, what happens we'll do some paint swatches on this book on this uh on this too and see how it takes ink and if it um bleeds or anything i've not tried the new endless uh, paper so it feels really nice it's thick it feels papery it doesn't feel like it has like a thick coating or anything but it is a pretty thick piece of paper okay i'm intrigued these are fun goodies. The ink is great too, but it's ink that I've like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty well versed in. Um, okay. So I was going to use my new, um, my new, uh, Pilot Iro Utsushi pen. Um, if I, if I don't like the way it's writing on the cards, then I will go ahead and use my, uh, glass dip pen, which I have right here. Um, let's get started. I just have some like white construction paper underneath this. So let's start with the um, the first ink, which was, where's my, I need a vial holder. Here, I have my ink to pet. I can't remember if this was from Ink Flight or if this was from my friend Casey. I feel like this was an Ink Flight one. Cause I think Casey sent me a cat. I have like a million vial holders, I love them. Okay, let's go ahead and shake this up because it's a shimmer. I've seen this on other people's Instagrams and stuff and I'm intrigued by this, by this ink. I didn't want to get a bottle, but I did want to see it. So I'm excited that I get the chance to try it. That's the best part about ink, uh, ink flight. Hello, Ripper, are you here? Oh, I did not dip it far enough. I'm getting more ink on the side of the pen than I am on the nib. Velvet. Ballet. Oh, I should not have done that. Because I want to see what it looks like on this. 
paper. So now I gotta dip it again. Meow. Meow. There we go. Over? Yes, Miss Bro? Yes, Bro Bro? Okay. Okay, are you gonna come up and say hi to the pun people again? They look when you come say hi to them. Oh, you are really gonna say hi to them. Oh, you're getting ink on your paw, I can tell. You're getting ink on your paw, you can tell. I'm getting a paper towel so I can blot my paintbrushes. Okay, Miss P. Miss P, Miss P. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to be a little speedy about this because I've just gotten interrupted. Um, not just by the cat. So let's go ahead and uh, do this real fast. Pearl, what are you doing? Okay, no, no, no. If it looks like it could crinkle and it's plastic, she will try to eat it. Okay, so let's quickly swatch this. I have successfully dripped off all the ink. Okay. Hi, right, thanks, Pearl. Thank you, Miss P. Thanks. Thanks so much. Can you get down now? Can you get down, Pearl? Can you get down, Miss Pearl? Can you please get down? Hi. Hi. You need to get down. You need to get down. I guess we're using this ink on this card because that's the one that. Meow. There we go. I need more ink. This is a this feels like a really dry ink. Considering how many times oh there we go. Okay. Now that I've used this entire sample just doing the swatches. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. I wanted to use this an ink that I've already used to do all of that, but oh, this is really pretty. I kind of hate that I like this. Okay. Next up. We have Spruce County Post. We're well versed in this one, but I'm gonna do it again anyway, cause I like it. I like that you get to see all the variations in color with this dip pen because it doesn't hold much ink, but... Okay, 
just a heads up, I'm going to be interrupted by other people who live here any minute now, so if it cuts out weird, that's why. Up, we have pumpkin patch. I'm excited to have pumpkin patch because I was thinking about getting some another sample maybe. I don't know if I want a bottle, but another sample at least. good shading. Oops. Tip for the scribble. There we go. I like this um, nib thing. This nib, this pen, this dip pen but it holds very, very little ink. So I think the glass dip pen is a little more practical for my usual use. But this is, it's a nice addition to the dip family, the dip pen family. So if I do need just a very small thing, like it's good to have. Pretty orange. I keep forgetting to do it on all the papers. These are not the greatest swatches. I'm just trying to be quick. And um, the thing my book is resting on is not very stable, so. Pumpkin patch, lovely. Next up, one of my very personal favorite uh, Ferris wheel press inks ever, ever, ever. Little Robinia, this uh, light lavender color. It's not for everybody, but I really enjoy it. I find it to be pretty legible. It goes down really light and then dries like a nice, it's a, a more legible color. And it's one of the first like light unsaturated inks that really felt like it was mine. Like Lady Rose is synonymous with creepy nibs and this is kind of synonymous with me. Well, maybe not synonymous, but for those who know, they know. I think it was the first big bottle of ink that I bought that wasn't one of the, um, that 
that wasn't one of the sets, like the set of three, like that initial um, Kickstarter set with uh, Tanzanite Sky and um, I think it was Tanzanite Sky and Bluegrass Velvet and uh, Mar something Marsala. What is the red one? I forget. Candy Marsala. It is very light and not for everybody, but you can see in the writing that it has some good shading. If you get it in a nice wet pen, a nice wet nib, a nice gushy nib, you can get lots of cool things out of it. Fun stuff. The next one that I may or may not have swatched and I don't remember. I think this was one that I wanted and I can't remember if I finally got a sample of it or not. I think I had, I think I might have gotten a sample of it but haven't swatched it. I remember that there was a 30 inks where I did only inks that I haven't swatched before and I can't remember. I think this was in the basket but I don't know if it's one that I chose. And for those of you wondering, you have to um, dip the nib up to the water lines. Okay, Rumi's home now, so it's probably gonna be weird. This is Peter. Moss.
we're back. Apologies for the morning voice. Um, I had to, um, I got interrupted. Uh, Rumi came home and we got interrupted. And, um, yeah. The good news is, literally everything should be dry. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's grab these in the order in which I swatched them. Take a look at our ink flight. Here's our um, goodie, the card. I ended up taking that dip pen and writing the name on it. Very cute. This is a very cute idea. I definitely won't be redoing my swatches in these cards because I'm sure that it's um, whew, probably too expensive to do so, but I like the way this looks. <laughs> I really like this ink. I wasn't sure that I was going to like this color because um, sometimes I saw it online and it was like really pretty and sometimes I was like meh. Basically I was trying not to love it, but I kind of love it. Um, here is our a swatch card. The shimmer's really nice. Sometimes Ferris wheel press shimmers are really subtle. Then we have Spruce County Post, which I love and adore. Pumpkin Patch. My card doesn't show as much shading because I put a bunch of uh, ink on it, but you can see the shading a little bit where the pen kind of run out. I like this orange a lot. Facial Press Little Rubinia. Again, this may be too light for some people, but I really enjoy it. And it looks really nice out of a pen. Peter Moss. This is very pretty. I like this a lot. I like these, like, olivey greens. Here we have Edward Gardens, which is kind of a... Uh, Emerald of Shavor esque ink. And then we have Stroke of Midnight. With this really pretty uh, champagne shimmer. And then we have our goodies, which were these cards. Oh, look. It wasn't intending to match the card, but there we go. And then here's our Tomoe River swatches. Beautiful, beautiful. And these inks that have sheen. Uh, it looks like the Velvet Ballet does have a little bit of sheen. Let's see if I can. It's mostly covered by shimmer, but there is some of it there. Peter Moss also. Has a little bit of sheen. And then there's that red sheen on Edward Gardens. And then um, there's some red sheen on Stroke of Midnight. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then here's the Endless Recorder, or Endless, um, like, what is it called? Creative Block Tear Off Notebook. We do get some bleed through, so you're probably not going to want to put giant swatches of ink on it, but. I feel like the ink held up really nicely. Rambinia, for some reason, is feathering like crazy. Whereas the rest of them aren't really doing that. Velvet Ballet a little bit in the text. Edward Garden, too. So it looks like you can get some feathering on this paper. And like I said, there is a little bit of bleed through. I mean, there's a lot of bleed through. So don't use this for swatches. But, yeah, just for general taking notes and stuff. I wonder what these icons are, if this is something where you can like scan it. I'm not sure. But yeah, very nice. The paper feels really nice to write on. Do I have, I'm trying to see if I have like a gel pen or a ballpoint pen sitting here. I do not. No, I don't. It appears that I do not. I have removed them from this space. But... Okay. 
even in the writing with a broad nebista, you get a little bit of bleed through. Kind of a shame considering how thick the paper is, but it doesn't appear to be coated. So there's really nothing protecting it. And this is a pretty juicy broad nib. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Happy Ink Flight Day. I love Ink Flight Day. I'm so glad it's finally here. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Ink Journal for, as always, sending a lovely box of goodies. Ink Flight Day is my favorite time. Ink Flight Day is my favorite time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I have, I'm missing a couple samples. They're about here on the table somewhere, but that's okay. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Do you wish you got this ink flight if you didn't? Are you happy with what you got? I can go watch all the ink flight videos now. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, thank you once again for watching. Um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I really, really, really like this ink. I kind of hate that I like this ink. I knew I'd like this ink. I feel like I haven't swatched this before, but I really like it. Um, yeah, I really like this ink. I don't need a bottle of it. I don't need a bottle of it. I don't need a bottle of it. I don't. I don't. I am not going to buy a bottle of it. Please don't let me buy a bottle of it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching. I will see you next month with Ink Flight. I will see you very soon with another ink vent. And, um, yeah. I um, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Love you. Bye.